creator and sustainer of this universe, the giver of every good and perfect gift, we pause today to say thank you for this celebration. We thank you because it required long hours, it required sacrifice, and ultimately it required commitment. And today we celebrate these soldiers who have committed their lives, and today we can dream the dream. We ask you now that you would continue to bless their lives, order their steps, and when they leave from this place today, that they will continue to be able to serve our world and our nation. Thank you for the parents and family, grandparents, all the support systems that have been in place during this journey. And we ask you today that as we celebrate that your presence be a major part of this event. And we ask you now, O oh God, as we continue to give to each other, that we remember those who have committed themselves to the cause. Thank you for this glorious time, and we ask you now that you would be a part of it. We thank you and we praise you that all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. All of you could be here and see how you look. You look great. I'm Mary Ann Black, and I'm the chair of the Durham Technical Community College Board of Trustees. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our 2014 commencement exercise. For the sixth year, we gather at the beautiful Durham Performing Arts Center. I think it's appropriate a venue since in just a few minutes, Durham Tech's newest graduates will enjoy this special moment in the spotlight as we celebrate the edu educational goals they have achieved. And for those of you who have never come to a performing arts program here at the DPAC, I encourage you to do so to broaden your education in the arts, you would love it. President Obama's sister Maya recently uh, said that she and her brother were blessed with a mother who taught us that education is the surest path from limited means to limitless opportunities. Today, we honor you for the certificates, diplomas, or degrees you have earned as a result of the hard work you have done along the pathway toward accomplishing your goals. Today is a testament to your persistence and your dedication. We know that you have made many sacrifices, encountered setbacks, and negotiated obstacles on this journey. So we ask you to thank your families, and I know you already have done so. We also thank your family and friends for the support they have offered. And we are thrilled that they have joined us today to share in the recognition of your great achievements. My colleagues on the Board of Trustees and I are so proud of what you have accomplished here. And we are excited to see what you will accomplish as you set even greater goals for yourselves. Congratulations, enjoy these moments. Now go forward and explore the limitless opportunities that this great wide world has in store for you. Once again, congratulations and good luck in your future. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty, and staff of Durham Technical Community College, I add my welcome to the 2014 graduating class, as well as to your families and friends gathered here for this incredibly special event. I'd first like to recognize a number of special guests who are with us this afternoon. You've just heard from the Honorable Mary Ann Black, Chair of the Durham Technical Community College Board of Trustees. Other members of the Board of Trustees who have joined us today include John Burness, Vice Chair, the Honorable Willie Covington, uh, Mr. Barker French, Ms. Susan Griffin, Dr. Hank Sherrick, Mr. Aaron Nelson, Dr. Mary Ann Peter, and Chuck Wilson. I also welcome Lois DeLoach and Tony Rigsby, members of the Durham Technical Community College Foundation Board of Directors. Please join me in thanking these individuals for their leadership and support.
Durham Tech is proud to serve communities that support and value education, and I'm delighted to recognize the presence of one of our education partners here today, uh, Dr. Johnson McKinley, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs at North Carolina Central University, is here on behalf of the Chancellor, Dr. Deborah Saunders White. Thank you, Dr. McKinley, for being with us today. Finally, I also want to thank the Honorable Reverend Michael Page, Chair of the Durham County Board of Commissioners, both for his service to our community and for his participation in today's ceremony. As Ms. Blatch has said, this marks the sixth year that we have been welcomed into the Durham Performing Arts Center. Without question, the most wonderful venue for any graduation uh, on, for any community college in North Carolina. I thank Tom Bonfield, City Manager for Durham, and his staff, along with Bob Klaus, General Manager, and the staff here at DPAC for their assistance and support this afternoon. The most important word in our title is community. It refers both to the communities we serve and the community that we are, a community of learners. This afternoon's celebration is the culmination of a year of accomplishment and success for the community that is our students, our faculty, and our staff. Today is a tangible demonstration of the way this institution embodies its mission of enriching both our students' lives and the broader community through teaching, learning, and service. Tomorrow, our graduates will be better prepared than ever to contribute to and enhance the wealth and well-being of the communities of Durham and Orange Counties and beyond. An important aspect of the community is family. I would like to add, and so I would like to like the family mem members of this afternoon's graduates to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. For the past two or three or four or more years, you have been there to support our graduates, to serve as their chefs and chauffeurs, their babysitters and study partners, their bookkeepers and their bankers, their shoulders to lean on and to cry on, their motivation and their inspiration. Their success is your success as well. So on their behalf, I thank you for all you've done to support them. The core of our community is the Durham Tech faculty and staff. Our excellence is the result of their dedication and imagination, their creativity and commitment. I would like our faculty and staff to stand and be recognized. for everything you do every day to serve our students in the communities of Durham and Orange Counties. In particular, I thank Candice Capers and the members of the, commis the Commencement Planning Committee. This group has been working diligently for the past several months in planning, coordinating, and organizing our commencement exercises. Please join me in thanking them for their efforts. Earlier this month, we formally recognized Carrie Cantwell, instructor in the Student Engagement and Transitions Department, as the recipient of our college's 2013-14 Excellence in Teaching Award. In her letter of nomination, Carrie's supervisor notes that every experience that she has, every role she takes on, doubles back for Carrie to inform her teaching and her engagement with her students. Her peers add, from her work in the classroom with new college students, to our participation in the study abroad program. It is clear that Carrie's commitment in, to students is informed by a deep understanding of their needs and a strong obligation to provide avenues for their successes at every possible turn. Carrie recognizes that students don't change simply because of what faculty members teach them, but through their own discoveries. She believes it is the instructor's role to facilitate those discoveries. Earlier this month, we also recognized Tina Bryant-Allen, Coordinator of Institutional Assessment and Planning 
as the recipient of the College's Excellence in Support Services Award for her leadership in a campus-wide continuous quality enhancement initiative and for working to expand the role of her colleagues in college decision-making. We also honored Sarah Juarez, instructor and director of translation and interpretation programs, as the recipient of the Excellence in Community Service Award for her efforts to engage her students in service activities on campus and in the community. Please join me in congratulating Carrie, Tina, and Sarah for their accomplishments this year. Our 330 full-time faculty and staff alone cannot adequately serve the more than 20,000 individuals who enroll in at least one class at Durham Tech every year. We rely on the expertise and commitment of a highly qualified and committed part-time workforce to carry out that mission. This year, we also recognized six of the nearly 500 part-time faculty and staff members whose collective contributions to our college are invaluable. Amy Pine, instructor of developmental reading and English, Sandra Peterson, instructor of history and humanities, Anne Recker, instructor in English of a second language, Ann Pugmire, tutor in the Kent Center for Academic Excellence, Mike Comides, instructor of human resources and workforce development, and Daniel Johnson, instructor of early childhood education. Please join me in noting the accomplishments of these important members of the Durham Tech faculty and staff. With all of that, this afternoon is about our students and their efforts and successes. In January, Emily May Hamrick, who is Durham Tech's nominee for the Governor Robert Scott Leadership Award, given annually by the North Carolina State Board of Community Colleges. Both as Governor of North Carolina and as President of the North Carolina Community College System, Bob Scott worked tirelessly to meet the needs of his constituents. Similarly, Emily Hamrick has consistently and continuously sought better ways to serve her fellow students. Whether organizing food drives to support the campus harvest food pantry, volunteering with Habitat for Humanity, the Durham Literacy Center, or Meals on Wheels, or participating as a member of the Debate Club, the Gamers Club, the Spanish Club, or Spectrum, Emily has found ways to give back to her college and her community. After graduation, Emily will be attending North Carolina Central University where she will major in Spanish. Also in January, Alexandra Cox was chosen as Durham Tech's Academic Excellence Award recipient for 2013. Allie was named, nominated for the award by five different faculty members, a testament to the impact she has made on her various courses. According to one of her instructors, Allie is every instructor's dream. She is smart attentive and active in extracurricular campus activities. She is intellectually mature beyond her years, <coughs> emotionally courageous, and academically confident. She also has a, a profound respect for education and learning, grounded in the reality that knowledge is useless without the ability to apply it to making the world a better place. Ali is the first graduate to meet the criteria established three years ago for recognition as a as an honors graduate in the Associate in Arts program. She graduates today summa cum laude with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. This fall, Ali will be attending the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Crystal Wallace represented Durham Tech this year in the North Carolina Community College Leadership Program. As a result of her participation in that program, Krista was appointed to the Working Learner Advisory Council of the ACT Foundation, joining 11 other college and university students from across the country to provide insights on issues and challenges facing working adult students in higher education. She will be transferring to North Carolina State University this fall to study leadership in the public sector. Today, Crystal. Emily and Ali are just three of the more than 300 people ranging in age from 18 to 74 who will cross this stage and become graduates of Durham Technical Community College. They are joined today by Pamela Ramo, a graduate in the Dental Lab Assistant Program, who volunteers at Missions of Mercy Clinic, a program that provides dental care throughout North Carolina to those who can't afford it. Also joining them is Samir Brown, member of Phi Theta Kappa, student senator and one of 10 Carolina Student Transfer Excellence Program graduates who will be juniors at UNC Chapel Hill next fall. <clears throat> uh, 
Also graduating today is Angela Ray Hippos, the 2013 participant in the Leadership Triangle Campus Edition, who has provided, and has fans today, has uh, provided leadership for the International Students Club and has earned a degree in early childhood education. This, year, this afternoon's participants are only a portion of our 53rd graduating class, as in the past year we have awarded more than 1,000 degrees, diplomas, and certificates to nearly 700 individuals in our curriculum programs and over 225 high school equivalency credentials. <coughs> Durham Tech serves an increasingly diverse community. 63 international students from 34 different nations will graduate this afternoon. But while our graduates come from diverse backgrounds and leave to pursue diverse careers, a characteristic that unites the class of 2014 is its generosity and commitment to service. Earlier this year, 90 Durham Tech students, faculty, and staff members joined students from North Carolina Central University and Duke University and volunteers from the Durham community on our campus to prepare 100,000 meals for orphans in Nicaragua in conjunction with the international organization Stop Hunger Now. Earlier this month, the Durham Tech Debate Club sponsored a community panel discussion about the academic challenges facing young men of color. These are just two of the countless examples of community service Durham Tech students have performed this year. In the past academic year, nearly 250 Durham Tech students logged more than 4,100 volunteer hours in such places as the Briggs Avenue Community Garden, Habitat for Humanity, and the Durham and Durham Tech's own Campus Harvest Food Pantry, contributing a cash equivalent of nearly $90,000 to our community's well-being. Durham Tech students have established a legacy of giving back to the community and the world. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, family is a deeply important aspect of community. In 2000, Daryl Mitchell graduated from Durham Tech and transferred to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. During his time with us, Daryl accomplished great things. He was the first of three Durham Tech students to serve as the president of the North Carolina Comprehensive Community College Student Government Association and as a student representative on the North Carolina State Board of Community Colleges. <coughs> he was a member of Game Bay Phi, Honor Society, and the Phi Beta Lambda National Business Fraternity. In 2001, while at UNC, he received the President's Leadership Award from Martin Lancaster, President of the North Carolina Community College System, for his efforts to help improve campus life for his fellow students and for significant contributions to the community of Durham. While at UNC, <clears throat> Darrell majored in sociology and psychology. While on the State Board of Community Colleges, Darrell was instrumental in helping pass a statewide bond issue that resulted in a public investment of over $3 billion to improve the campuses of Carolina's 16 public universities and 58 community colleges. <clears throat> but at the time he received his award from, from Mr. Lancaster, Darrell said his most important role was that of single father to his nine-year-old daughter. Although she didn't fully realize it until very recently, Darrell's daughter has been a member of the Durham Tech family ever since especially after her father died in 2000 of cancer. And this afternoon, Tevin Mitchell will receive her high school equivalency and will return to Durham Tech in the fall in the medical assisting program. Thanks to a scholarship established in her father's memory by current and former Durham Tech employees. Tevin, welcome home. Communities are places where people care for one another, and Durham Tech cares for the communities of Durham and Orange Counties. We are here to help enrich those communities and the people who live there by providing educational programs and services that enable our neighbors to live more productive and meaningful lives. We thank you for being here today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates and to help launch them back into our communities so they can, in turn, enrich and enliven us as well. Thank you. Hello and good afternoon, graduates, faculty and staff, and family and friends. My name is Casey Van Alstyne, and I've served as Durham Tech Student Senate President for the 2013-2014 academic year. I would first like to say congratulations to the graduates, 
and good luck on all of your future endeavors. During the past year, I've had the privilege of getting to know many of the students that are graduating today. So that leaves me with bittersweet feelings about seeing them depart from Durham Tech and continue their journey to a bright future. I hope that all graduates continue to be inquisitive, enthusiastic to be more educated, and positive about the direction of their lives. Today, I am honored to be introducing the commencement speaker for today's event. Mr. Kenan Briggs is currently retired, having served as the academic, I'm sorry, ex Executive Vice President and Chief of Staff for the North Carolina Community College System, where he managed the day-to-day -day operations and the 250-person staff of the system office. He provided direct supervision for several administrative positions, including the Chief Financial Officer, General Counsel, Director of Governmental Relations, and Executive Director of the State Board. He sat on the policy committee of the State Board. He also carried out the directives of the System President and managed special projects. Previous to his appointment as Executive Vice President and Chief of Staff, Mr. Briggs served as the Chief Financial Officer for the Community College System for 11 years. Prior to that, he was a Senior Budget Analyst for Higher Education for the Office of State Budget and Management, County Manager for Yadkin County, and County Administrator for Jones County. A Durham native, Mr. Briggs earned his bachelor's degree in sociology and a master's degree in public administration from NC State University. He has also completed postgraduate study with the Institute of Government at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Throughout his professional career, Mr. Briggs has received numerous awards and honors, including the Barry K. Sanders Award as the Outstanding Fiscal Officer in North Carolina State Government in 2001, CCBO Outstanding Community College Business Officer of the Year for Region 11 in 1998, and Yadkin County Citizen of the Year in 1996. He remains very active in his church and community and sits on various civic committees and boards. Please give a warm welcome for Mr. Kenan Briggs. Madam Chair, members of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Ingram, my friend, faculty, staff, friends and families, and to the 2014 class of Durham Technical Community College. Good evening. What a wonderful place it is to be this evening as we're all gathered here, everybody here, to celebrate your progression, your persistence, and yes, your success, if you will. And more importantly, the transition that takes place this evening for the rest of your life. As we gather to celebrate this transition, I feel it's important to take a moment and reflect, graduates. I want you to think back with me a little bit of where Durham has been and quite frankly, where you have been. For the past does inform us about the present. But I also want us to look ahead this evening as we talk about transition. For while we live in the present, as my late father said, we plan for, hope for, and expect the best in life yet to come. Let's make this transition together for a moment. I'm a Durham boy, if you will. I was born in the old Watts Hospital in 1955. I went to Holt Elementary School, Carrington Junior High, as it was known then. I was the last person in class to graduate on Clements Field at Northern Durham High School 40 years ago next month. When I was a kid growing up in Durham, my mom would drop me off at the old Durham Athletic Park, where $2 and a half would buy my ticket in, get me a drink and a hot dog, and I could spend the afternoon watching minor league greats who later became major league stars. Names like Carl Yastrzemski, Joe Morgan, Rod Carew, and Johnny Bench ran the bases around the old Durham <laughs> Athletic Park while the aroma of tobacco wafted through the stadium and filled your nostrils and your clothes at the same time. I played youth basketball in West Durham where a fine white dust from Irwin Mills covered the old playing floor and made it slick on my teammates' kids and converses, which were the most popular tennis shoes at that time. 
In those days, the road to Chapel Hill, 15501, was a two-lane road, and the only modern road to Raleigh was US-70. I remember watching I-85 being built through Durham, things that you young folks perhaps think have always been there. There was no I-40 at that time. Back in the day, many students in Durham County either dropped out of high school or upon their graduation went to work at either Leggett Myers or American Tobacco Company. And a lot of other folks worked shifts in the mills or at Long Matter Farms or at Central Carolina Bank or Duke University. And then the changes came to Durham. Trade agreements, offshore relocations of tobacco, textile, and apparel, and the economy began to radically change in this community. The local tobacco industry declined in its scope. The mills closed. Watts Hospital, where I was born, became the School of Science and Math. The Bulls moved to a new park down the street. And the term, get a good education, young man or young woman, became the focus of my and subsequent generations. No longer was it possible to get a good job, if you will, without at least a high school diploma, and better still, at least some college. Along came IBM and Burroughs Welcome and the Research Triangle Park. The skills that employers demanded began to increase, and Durham evolved to a city of medicine, as I know it with the growth and expansion of the Duke Medical Center and Durham Regional Hospital. Better jobs, better pay, more skills, more education. My reflection briefly about the past is important to you, class of 2014, for many reasons. First, the one institution that has been a constant amidst this sea of economic change in this county and an open door embracing this radical economic change and expansion of opportunity through education is Durham Tech, my hometown community college. <laughs> While the traditional industries have gone by the wayside, replaced by healthcare, entrepreneurship, technology, and advanced manufacturing, Durham Tech has been here all along the way to help prepare your predecessors and now you, 2014 graduates, for hope, for prosperity, and yes, for jobs. Second, thanks to exemplary leadership by the Board of Trustees and Dr. Bill Ingram, outstanding instruction by this faculty before you, whom I heard you, many of you applaud, and by the intrusive student engagement that is now the hallmark of Durham Tech by talented professional staff, the class of 2014 is probably the best prepared to take on the next steps of the journey through this life. How has Durham Tech done this for you, graduates, and previous generations of students that have come before you? The May 6th edition of the Wall Street Journal had an article entitled, College doesn't buy happiness. The journal reports that in a new Gallup survey of 30,000 college graduates of all ages in all 50 states from all academic backgrounds, it says, and I quote, highly selective schools don't produce better workers or happier people, but inspiring faculty, no matter what they teach, just might. The article continues, meaningful ties with professors and mentors had the highest correlation with student well-being after graduation. Having a teacher who believes in a student makes a lifetime of difference, end quote. And I think it's been true in my life, and I suspect it's true in the life of the graduates here tonight. So you, the class of 2014, have been given the right instructional tools and the nurturing support at Durham Tech that equip you for good jobs right here at home. What good jobs, you may ask? The March 2014 North Carolina Department of Commerce labor market employment data indicate that the fastest job growth in North Carolina from 2013 to 14 by sector include professional and business occupations, trade, transportation, and utilities, 
education, health, and construction. As of April 23rd in Durham County, if you look at the Department of Commerce's job postings, there are hundreds and hundreds of openings for software developers, network and computer system administrators, retail salespersons, registered nurses, heavy tractor trailer truck drivers, web developers, marketing managers, just to name a few of those jobs that are right here, right now for the class of 2014. So yes, there are good jobs. And your education here at Durham Tech is the key to availing yourself of those good opportunities. You see, whatever brought you to Durham Tech, class of 14, be it a change in family circumstances, the need for a new start, the desired preparation to transfer to a baccalaureate institution, this institution has you ready for that transition. It always has been, and it always will be, Durham Tech. So hear me now. In the words of Dorothy Sayers, a renowned novelist, playwright, and essayist, and I quote, work is the natural exercise and function of man. Work is not primarily a thing one does to live, but a thing that one lives to do. It is or should be the fullest expression of the worker's faculties, the thing in which one finds spiritual satisfaction and the medium by which individuals offer themselves to God. So as you complete this transition, whether to further education or employment, go forward with the strong assurance that you have been empowered by the faculty and staff at Durham Tech to fully express those gifts, those talents, and the abilities you have in Durham and the surrounding counties. As you transition to your next place, you need to understand this. Your community needs you, your state needs you, and the nation needs you. We need you to be productive, contributory, and responsible. We need you to be ethical, proud, and caring. And we need you to be leaders, mentors, and continue that great volunteer work Dr. Ingram articulated that you've done in this community. I promise you, in all of those things, it will be immensely satisfying. And never, ever, ever forget this saying. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And congratulations to you, the 2014 graduating class of Durham Tech. Will the candidates for the associate degree please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the North Carolina State Board of Community Colleges and the Durham Technical Community College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the, uh, the degree of Associate in Applied Science or the Associate in Arts or the Associate in General Education or Associate in Science, together with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereto appertaining. Please be seated. Sadie Ross Cook. Naisha R. Hardy. Karen Hall. To Sarah Christine DeLeave. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Garwood. <laughs> Robin Lee Stanley. Pamela Patak Dingman. Woo! 
Ann Busey Centeno Rodriguez. Therese Elizabeth Smoot. <laughs> Megan Maxwell Neely. <laughs> Ernestine Lynetta Cagle. Elliot Mant. Rachel Hannah Bouchel. Christina Grace Harford. Sarah May Laudeman. Stephanie Eileen Massingale. <laughs> Janice Marie Kerwin. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Rafi. <laughs> Janet Marie Yarborough. Kathy Denise Mitchell. Angelia Francette Johnson. Jennifer Lyons Kaiser. Shakita N. Powell. Michelle Ann Everest. Zamir Montrell Brown. Keisha J. Washington. Robbie Robinson. Kimberly Michelle Peterson Robertson. Lisa Ann McFarland. Michael David McHenry. Jason Dale Rutkowski. Darren Reinhardt. Amal Kanada Kartowi. Kimberly Gail Sumi Kota. Tu Yen Tran. Tyrone Baran Graham. Celia Hong. Moamoa May Tanay. <laughs> Caroline Chakorier Rugat. <laughs> Vera Prasad Pandinguta. <laughs> Sh 
Shayna Evita Williams. Justin Matthew Goldball. James Saunders. Antonio de la Torre. Emily Christine Scroggs. Monty Nicole Peel. Ami Ruth Cox. Esther Wanjiru Bugwa. Aja Dien. Naveline Ong Min. Kenan Ong Min. Zachary Ryan Harris. Joseph Allen Cromling. Stephen Edward Snugs. Jonathan Riley Harding Martin. Bernadette Christmas. Taniqua Latrice Benjamin. Cheryl Danette Hooper. Frol Anka Alicia Woods. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole White. <laughs> Mabelin Noemi Sosa Orellana. Jessica Nicole Barnett. Christian David Diaz Orozco. Camille Nicole Moore. Emma Victoria Johnson Howard. Betty Anita Mihalopoulos. <laughs> Levan Jadel Taller. <laughs> Eric Michael Ross. Darrell Lamar Garland. <laughs> Pamela Margaret Rimo. <laughs> Jacob Peterson Shore. <laughs> Dennis Edward Cobbins. Thomas Eugene LeBlanc. Yeah! 
Katina Renee Hill. Jason Scott Rogers. Perry Chapman. Miranda Monet Johnson. Paul Hakes Pacheco. Franklin Chuku Manley. Fadurayi Fiona Chicomo. Jamie Patrice Jones. Benjamin Zergo Fasica. Destiny Latisse Green. Ashley Moody. Jeremy Logan Pate. Kevin Wayne Gilchrist. Almoiz Elamin Karar. Michael Joseph Roberts. Andrew Ace Coleman. Katie Louise Gregory. Amanda Susan Jordan. Tensiana Trina Jones. Andrew Jason Stegall. Rose Ann Diola Hassan. Nicholas Stephen Oberly. Brooke Lynn Sykes. Brittany Dare Farrell. Deasia Renee Moore. Tammy Dion Outlaw. Tamika Nakia Hamlet. Karen Lee Miles Dorsey. Tahira L. Drayton. Debbie Mays. Angela Ray Yubienko Ipos. Angela Marcel Nichols. (laughs) 
Evie Christina French. Lorian Leigh Ellington. Brittany Ann Marie Hall. Tanika Lashanda Garrett. Sharma Lakeisha Jeffries. Multisola Kimani Graham. Vanetta Latasha McGee. Barbara Michelle Bethay Bass. Sandra Leathers Tate. Tara Moniqua McCurdy. Marinda Upshur Moreau. Iris Yanez Chicas Chavarria. Sharif Denise Blake. Arthur Paul Romero, Jr. <laughs> Shirley Chapman Turner. Crystal Hedden Jones. Elizabeth Gail Divine. Thomas James Strom Jr. Idrissa Diallo. Monica Chanel Bobbitt. <laughs> Yamei K. Brookins. <laughs> Anne Marie Edwards. <laughs> Brian Daniel. Edwards. Abdulai Bayule Popoola. Samantha Thornton. Monica Brown. Lucas. <laughs> Tiffany Sherelle Melvin. <laughs> Edith Louise Hilliard. <laughs> Jessica May Ireland. Admire Justina Gregory. Bahadur Yusufov.
Benjamin James Exley. Jose Luis Mendez Reyes. Lucero Becker Ramos. Lorena Lisef Haitán del Cid. Kristen Jude Sedansky. Crystal Leanne Wallace. Rishan Fante Davis. Taylor T. Rock. Angelica Faith Edith Olive. Jatindradet Singh. Ingrid DeVale Donnell. Kenya Michelle Shaw. Kem Raj Joshi. Severa I. Jones. Dennis Oxendine. Alexandra Ray Cox. Karen Chamberlain. Suhaila Wahid. Dion N. McGee. Coco Arloran Eichelberger. Yasmin Mundane Murray. Courtney Brooke Berry. Sud Abdulaziz Ashur. Jacinth and Marie Wilson. Charity M. Andriga. Rashid Abdus Salam. Sabrina D.E. Boyd. Christopher Paul LaPay Jr. Pamela Hal Williams. Juliana Sullivan. Joseph Keith Castle. Orlando Bland McCarty. Thomas Hazelhurst Devlin.
Korea Muchenje. Abayomi Anthony Ajayi. Kimberly Ann Boyce. Michael Stephen Prisable. Gail Ann Delvecchia. Sharnae Nakara Young. Thomas George Bardell. Laura Nicole Parsons. Brenda Miller Holmes. Aaliyah Monet Turrentine. Fernanda Acevedo Olivato. Marina Rebollar Espinal. Diana Marcela Ortiz. <laughs> Natalie N. Morgan. Candidates for the curriculum diplomas and certificates, please stand. <laughs> Having completed in a satisfactory manner the courses required in your programs, you are hereby declared graduates and upon the recommendation of the faculty are granted the curriculum diploma. Please be seated. Garcia Luna. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Gavin. <laughs> Jesse James Escamilla. Kanisha Malika Wilson. <laughs> Leticia Alexandria Harris. <laughs> Win Tan Vo. <laughs> Dulce Garcia. Anna Lindsay Knoll. Monica Latrice Smith. Tanya Evans Waller. Brittany Marie Goodwin. Monica Martinez Diaz. Sandra Patricia Clayton. Alejandra Lisbeth Gonzalez.
Adriana Stanka. Margarita Chavira Ipema. La Vancina Lynette McNair. Jalisa Shatera Macy. Alexandra Catherine Parascandala. Brianna Ray Gift. Melissa Vene Sevadashti. Marcia Ivan Farish. Latasha Ann Cottrell. Kimberly Perry Williams. Wendy Baron Simmons. Maria Murphy Moore. Carrie Deverett Joyner. Erika Lisette Almonte Mendez. Tamara Jewel Hatch. <laughs> Luisa Sophia Maxwell. <laughs> Maria Magdalena Salazar. Marlon A. Aguirre. Danielle Nambusi Siewe. Lawrence Wayne Holiday Jr. Nidia Cecilia Matut Lobo. Marta Garza Avila. Rebecca Nahira. Jadira M. Alvarez. Dulce Casarrubias Hernández. Sandy Yasmín Hernández. Maria Olivera Aragón. Elizabeth Casarrubias Hernández. Lisbeth Anguiano Hernández. Shalanda Hardy. Antonio D. Gertrude. <laughs> Diana Garcia.
Tracy Elizabeth Hunter. Reginald Wall. Jasmine Carr. Quincy McDavid Whitehurst. Lola Timmons. Ashley Nicole Sidnor. Corkita Troy. Erica Bunny Downey. Shelby Lynn Robertson. Joyce Hayes. Valley Scott. Tyresha O. Bolden. Tabitha Zimmerman. Lindsay McCorkle. Manuel Ambriz. Tevin Bernice Mitchell. Demeric Latan Brinkley. Belkis Julissa Wickle. Marisol Barradas. Claudia M. Esparza Benitez. Wendy I. Escobar Herrera. Alex Orlando Aguilar. Rodelina Velasquez Hernández. Miriam N. Ortiz Mora. Carla Nicole Pierce Skurlock. Haywood Lee Gibson III. Anthony L. Blunt. Rosalba Cruz. Maria Alfaro Iglesias. Matthew Charles Anderson. Yeah. 
Cristian Martínez. Hassan T. Chavis. Diego E. Nieves. Demario Maurice Holman. Caleb J. Hardy. Roberto Vallejo. Elizabeth Solis Peralta. William Akello Fontanel. Larry Brickles. Vashon Craig Shamar Peaks. Demario Xavier Peebles. Robert Lee Braxton. Latoya L. Taylor. Arthur H. Taylor. Ramon Alejandro Rojas Duarte. Mildred Suddenly Lopez Escobar. Nelly Patricia Ibarra Padilla. Carmen Barreda Cardenas. Daquan Sean Mullen. Lakita Nicole Peaks. Natalie R. De Pablo. Carmen Annette Love. Rebecca Blanc Bailey. Chelsea Liana Scott. Montez Devon Faulkner. <laughs> Stacarlo S. Darby. Omar S. Allen. Aldi Davila. Yeah. Tammy Jean Patterson. Yeah. Roxana Espinosa Torres.
Toriana M. Burgess. Danielle Elizabeth Shanklin. Wanda S. Rogers Brown. Curtis Anthony Gill. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Steed. Cathedria V. Hall. In their excitement to get on stage and march across the stage, a very important group uh, was not, um, we did not actually confer the degree. So, will the <coughs> candidates for the high school diploma and GED please stand? satisfactorily completed the requirements for the adult high school diploma, you are hereby declared graduates of the high school diploma. Madam Vice President. Students, to confirm your graduation, please switch your tassels from right to left. The challenges we face today and the challenges you will face tomorrow will require energy and commitment, brain power and effort to overcome. You are better prepared than ever to meet those challenges, to seize and create new opportunities, and to realize a better future. Durham Technical Community College Class of 2014, go forth and help lead the renewal of our neighborhoods, our communities, our state, our nation, and the world.